Well, it appears winter's back for the time being, at least. I picked these two old snowmobiles up over this past fall. I think I gave a couple hundred bucks for them or something. I don't know. It was pretty cheap. I think it's a good day to see if we can get this thing going. This right here, I believe, is a 1987 Articat Cougar 500. This thing's actually in pretty good shape. Cougar. Looks like it was last registered in 2006. Go ahead and get some of the snow off here. Like I said, it's really not horrible. I think she just needs a tune-up. I believe it's missing a coil, but uh, I should have one out back. Let's go ahead and open her up and see what she's got under the hood. Yeah, definitely no coil, but it's got the 500 fan-cooled Suzuki engine, so I'm pretty sure this thing will run. Unless for some reason she seized up, but I think yeah, she still turns over. I'm sure minimum we'll have to go through the carbs, the fuel tank, to get this thing running somewhat. But the main thing we got to do right now is go find a coil for it. All right, let's go ahead and take the screw out. Boy, it is still coming down pretty good out there. We got an Articat Jag 340 here. <clears throat> Not sure if we got a coil. Oh, we do. We do. And I brought, perfect, I brought a 10 millimeter and a Phillips. Hopefully this coil is good. I know this machine did have firing issues, but um, but I'm pretty sure it was a kill switch, key switch, something like that, because when you unplug the wiring harness on it, it did run. But that was also many moons ago. <laughs> this thing hasn't been run in years. Go ahead and take these bolts, because I didn't pay attention to see if we had some in there or not. Not even positive this is the same coil, but this is an 80s Articat Jag, so hopefully it fits. Let's go ahead and open this up, see if we uh, got the right coil. Looks like it bolts to the same place. Let's check our plug-ins. Just a two wire, perfect. So I can unplug this one from here, actually. Uh, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and bolt her up. You know, I'm hoping for the best once we get this thing bolted up. I really want to see some spark on those plugs. Mm, almost looks like we're missing a ground. Well, I'll try it without the ground, I guess. Plug that in. Plug that in. Now I got two brand new plugs here to make sure you get the best chance possible. See if she fires. Looks like she's sparking. Go ahead and dump a little fuel down the cylinders, see if we can get her a pop.
right. Come on, old kitty. All right, so we obviously have spark. Let's go ahead, pull them carbs off, get some fresh fuel in this thing. We'll drain the tank, get some fresh fuel on it, and see how she runs. All right, we'll start by draining the fuel. All right, okay, down you go. While that's draining, we'll go ahead and pull these carbs. Choke plungers are stuck. Stuck bad. Well, I don't really want to wait around while those soak, so I'll just pull the carbs off here, clean them out on the machine. Definitely not the best way to do it, but it's one way to do it. Oh, wow. That's rough. Real rough. I knew they were going to be a little bad. I didn't know they'd be this bad. I'm going to try to do the best I can here. Luckily, I was able to get at least one off, so I'm going to clean that up the best I can in here. Get the bulk of it off first. Look at that stuff. Ooh, rough. It's like milk. Surprisingly, I got all the jets out. Um, I was really surprised on this pilot jet that I came out, got her cleaned. Main jet's all cleaned. Look at that needle. That thing is so corroded. I don't think it's going to work very well. These really need to go through my ultrasonic cleaner. I'm going to go ahead, hand clean everything real quick, throw it back together, and see what we get. I really don't know much about that sled yet. It might run, but it might not move. I don't know. We'll find out. Well, I threw a little WD-40 down this one, and she loosened up. That'll make it easier to clean. Hoping this one's not going to be quite as bad. But then again, it's probably the same. Oh, that looks way better. Wow. That looks way better. Perfect. I mean, look at this. It literally looks like it came off a different machine. There's uh, no corrosion. There must have been water in the other one or something. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and clean all this out, and we'll get her back on there. And we'll see if she runs, see if it moves. All right. I'm going to go ahead and throw these back on here. Snow's getting everywhere. If it was earlier on in the season, I would have went through these carbs better, but um, it's not. And I really don't know much about this, so I don't want to spend too much time on it. Because who knows if, uh, I don't even know if this thing is going to move. We'll find out. That's the most I heard this thing run ever. But we just started it up, so. If she's a good runner, who knows, maybe I'll fix her right up and uh, do some vintage rides next year. I was looking for a sled this year, but I just didn't find anything I really wanted, so. And I know this isn't that old, but it's late 80s, so it's definitely considered vintage now. Uh, snow in the car boots. Just clean stuff off, right? I guess we're about ready to try it. Uh, we need some fuel first. Let's hope... The oil injection system works because I'm throwing street gas in there. <laughs> Probably not the smartest thing to do, but. All right. All right, ready to give this thing a go. I don't feel like cranking over the whole time to get those bowls filled, so I'm going to fill it up with some gas and the cylinders here. And we'll give her a go. Going pretty good out. I am soaking wet. Oh, 
one plug wire, two plug wires. Moment of truth. She started before, she should start now. A little gas down the carbs, I guess. It's like electric start when you're working on the stuff, I guess. Run out of breath when you're pulling. <laughs> Gas in there. I can just really rev it. Get her cleaned out. Yeah, it's good. save some of that oh my back so what i think is going on i think there's still some water in the fuel that's what it seems like through these lines i got an auxiliary tank right here i'm gonna have to pull the gas tank to actually get it right so i'm gonna go ahead and fill that up and try her out all right we'll see if i'm right or not short port now. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
the old girl does run and drive. And reverse even works. She's definitely got some other issues, but uh, I don't know if it's, it almost seems like it's cutting out. It could be in the carb still, but I don't think so. I almost think it might be a firing problem. The old girl's in pretty good shape. It's probably worth fixing up for next year.